this your girl TQ right here on C1 TV, getting ready for a music symposium with and clinic with Edwin Hawkins and the impeccable Richard Smallwood. We're going to talk to each of them individually, talking about music and ministry. So stay tuned right here. C1 TV, District Girl TQ. We'll be right back. Hey, this is your girl TQ from The Morning Mix. You are here with C1 TV and we are with the amazing Richard Smallwood. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Yourself? I'm doing great. I'm excited. I, I really am. I'm really excited. A crazy one always tells me that I'm a fan, but I have to do both this time. So oh. I'm excited to talk to you. Well, the pleasure is mine, definitely. That's to be here. Of all the years that you've been in ministry, um, give us some things that have brought you through these years. God. <laughs> Great answer. I mean, that's that's basically that's basically the um, my foundation, my strength, the source of my strength. Yeah, that's. I mean, there are a lot of things that, that I've gone through, difficulties and stuff, and it's always been God that has brought me through. You know, He's at He's at the at the helm. He's at the at the forefront of what I do. He's the reason why I do it. He put me on the planet to do it. You know, it was preordained. I know so. Um, he, he has brought me through a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And when it comes to uh, younger musicians, give us, uh, tell us something that that you would want them to take on and remember from you. Well, I mean, I, you know, I, I think first of all, um, it's so important that we get some kind of education in our craft um, because sometimes I hear music that. It has a lot of great possibilities, mm -hmm. but if 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 the songwriter really knew how to craft in terms of form, because okay. uh, you know songs have to tell a story, it has to be a beginning, right. a middle, and end. Not only lyrically, but harmonically and structurally as well. So knowing the the um, if you're a songwriter, knowing the um, the techniques of writing a good solid song, writing things that are biblically based, not like my. Uh, my concept and my idea but what right. the bible says you know right uh, and i think i think it's so important to write songs that speak to people that speak to their hearts a lot okay. of people you know as opposed to just you know lyrics that really speak to the problems and to the struggles of, of mankind mm -hmm. and how god can bring us through those those right. things i think the songs that that we really remember are the ones that you know, when we're going through stuff, we can grab hold to that right. verse and it'll give us that kind of strength, that kind of encouragement to go. Right. So those those kinds of, of songs, you know, um, be under great teaching, you know, I mean, you, we have to get fed constantly so we can feed others, Right. you know. Uh, uh, but I, I, I would like to encourage everybody, if, if you play piano, learn how to read. If you, if you sing, take some vocal lessons, you know, cool. so you can be the best you can be. Just, we, we're doing this for, for him, for God, you know. Right. He gave us his best, so we should get back out. Two, ready, and...
stuff now I, I told you before that I would ask this question um, I've noticed a trend of a lot of artists and a lot of ministers that are leaving their uh, their covering how important is it to have a spiritual head or a spiritual covering it's very important I mean, because what we're doing here is ministry you know and as I said before you have to get fed in order to feed others right. you know what I'm saying so you have to have that filling station that you can go to and, and get inspired get right. encouraged uh, uh, I have been at my church uh, going on 30 years this year, wow. you know, and when I'm home, I'm the only piano, you that's know, good. you that's know, good. because that's, that's where I get my, my, my encouragement and my strength from, you that's know, cool. so when I can go out and, and minister, I have something to carry with me. So it's very important that you have that, uh, that covering, that pastor who, who embraces your ministry and who encourages my, my, my pastor and my, uh, my, my fellow church members are some of the most encouraging people that I know. And so you need that. No, no place like home. And then you can go out, take what you got at home and, and go out and spread it. That is so cool, especially to hear from someone like you to know that you have to be fed. Oh, certainly. You have to be certainly. fed in order to go and minister to other people. Certainly. And I've no, you don't have to come in and be a superstar to come to church. No, no, Because <laughs> no. we see a lot of that now. A lot of people come in and, you know, they think they've made it big and they just walk down I don't, the You know, I, I don't care where God takes you. Uh, it's really not about you. It, it's, right. it's, it's about God. And it's about who you can affect. My prayer has always been, Lord, whatever I do, help me to make a difference in somebody's life. You know, because it's just really not about me. And I think the problem is sometimes we get so caught up in our own gifts that we start, and we start believing the hype. Listen, <laughs> if grace and mercy, or I should say, if justice was dished out the way that it should be, so none of us would have the that gifts that so we true. have because we're not worthy of them. You know, we're just, you know, I was I was talking to a friend of mine the other day. We were talking about how how God used in the Bible, He used flawed individuals. So we're all flawed. You know, everybody had issues. Right. Paul, Abraham, Moses, <laughs> everybody, issues. everybody had, but He used them in a mighty way. Right. And so it's the same with us. None of us are perfect. Right. So we have nothing to be, you know. Uh, proud about, except that we're God's children, you know, and that we're here to serve. We can make a difference in other people's lives. Whatever song you're singing or whatever song you're taught, you have to become the song. You have to become the living testimony of the song. You know, if 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 you know that He's the same God, then you've got to sing it from your experience. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you know what it is to trust Him, you have to sing it from your experience. So it's more than just the notes, it's more than just the phrasing, but it's, it's got to come from here. You ever heard somebody sing and they sound real nice, but you ain't feel nothing? Come on, come on. They're just going through the motion. So you have to become the embodiment of what the song is saying. I had a music teacher told me, she, uh, she, uh, when I was in college, she said, you have to become the music. The music is already written, but you who makes it live. Okay, so that's what I need you to do. So in total praise, total praise is like a combination of a prayer and a praise. So when you start off, Lord, I will lift my eyes to the hills. Lord, my help is coming from the Lord, uh, coming from you. Uh, you've got to, it's like you're laying before the Lord, just saying, you know, God, I need you to help me. You know, I, I, I'm going through some stuff. I need you to get me out of what I'm going through. I don't know how I'm going to get out. I don't see the end of the road, I, but I know you're able and then in the middle of the song, a light bulb goes on. And you think back to every storm you ever been through, God has been there. Yeah, yeah. So wait a minute, your peace you give me from my past experience in time of the storm. So then you're getting up off your knees and you're going into a praise. Wait a minute, wait a minute, you are the source of my strength. You are, you see what I'm saying? So it's got to go from here to here. So that's what that's 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 what I've got to see and hear in, in, in your in your presentation. Okay? So become this song. Alright? Okay, let's try it again.
Mm. It's the B, there's no diminished. It's B flat seven. There you go. That's it. That's it. And see, when, when you play that other chord that you're probably playing all along, when you play that chord, it throws them off, and they'll never get that note. So right to the B flat, B flat seven. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh huh. No B natural. Just B flat. All right. Again, ready? Two, three, and. Still uh, working my, my latest uh, record, uh, Anthology, which right. came out uh, about four or five months ago, and uh, um, working on my autobiography uh, with the working title, Total Praise. Hopefully it'll be out sometime this year. Uh, and I've got a brand new app. And uh, so if you've, got, if you've got iPhone or if you've got uh, Android or the Galaxy or whatever, you can go to your your uh, your app store, mm -hmm. type in my name, and download the app. It has music, it has video, it has photos. We all with some of everybody all over the place, and it has uh, um, all of my social media um, information. And there'll be different. We're gonna have like uh, I'm getting ready to do a songbook, new songbook from from way back to the I Love the Lord days on up to now. Um, so that'll be on sale there as well as for the song. <laughs> That's a dictionary. Ah, you know, so we we'll have to do one, maybe two volumes. I don't know. We'll just see. But it'll be a lot of new features on it as well. So it's free. Just go to your app store and download it. It's got that a lot of really so good stuff cool. on it. Yeah. And what is your social media so that we'll know? Well, my, my, uh, my, uh, what's my Facebook? You just go to Richie Smallwood face, uh, Facebook. 
slash Facebook, whatever the thing is. And then uh, you can <laughs> you can go to my Twitter is Richwood Music R I C H W O O D M U Z I K. Okay. And my IG is Small Rich at Small Rich S M A L L R I C H. Cool. Yes. Thank you so much for taking this time out. No problem. You Thank had, you for having me. I enjoyed me. your teaching while you were doing the seminar. Thank it you. It was just amazing to see you in action. Thank you. You know, we always hear your CDs. We always hear your music. But to see you in action is like life is like bigger than life to me. Oh, well, thank so you. So I thank really, so really much. enjoyed it. This is your girl, TQ, C1 TV. So happy that you joined us. We're going back out to see the rest of the rehearsal. We'll, we'll talk to you later. What piece you give me? Come on. What piece you give me? When do you give it? Naturally, you're going to sing higher. It's going to go sharp or it's going to go somewhere else. It's not supposed to be. Just sort of open your mouth and let it, and let it just come out. Ah, it'll cut through. You don't have to sing. Ah, ah, you know? All right. Let's take it from. Uh, from uh, ah.